Hi everybody, I'm back. The day after Christmas. Let's get yoga going. Today I'm a little bit stressed, so I'm gonna do some neck release. I'll explain why I'm stressed. Um, nothing work related or health related. Um, let's get started. Breathing. Back bend. Core fold. As I was saying, I'm holding a little bit of stress today, so I'm going to let my head hang. Why well, explain what I'm experiencing? Because, you know, maybe today you don't have the same emotion, but maybe some other day you will, then you can come back to this yoga and maybe help yourself to tune out that emotion that you're going through. But yeah, if you're stressed, uh, what helps for me is a lot of shoulder stretches, neck relaxers, and a lot of hip openers. You see that? I don't know who are this day. Come to a uh, plank. You tend to hold a lot of your negative emotion in your hips, so we are doing a lot of hip openers. Uh, we are going to go to Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Joy, you have sound on your Sorry, I forgot to turn my sound. Thank you, Opa Nambo. Ah. All right. Right leg up. Right leg forward. Come to low lunge. Let's do a deep low lunge. And then come to half Hanuman. From half Hanuman, we are going to come to full Hanuman. If it's in your practice, if it's not in your practice, let's still try a little. You can get help with a walk. And see, you know, how much of an open you can get. Isn't it nice? can get rid of the block but uh, be careful I try to be careful why I mean be careful is don't just like dump your weight on your hip be gentle have support with your arms and palms to make sure you know you can extend instead of just dumping your weight nice Coming to down dog, left leg up, left leg forward, low lunge, let's do a deep low lunge as deep as you can, and then half Hanuman Asana, Half Hanuman Asana, you can try going to full Hanuman Asana. Similar to the other side, feel your weight. I really want to be balanced when this side is a lot more open than the other side, which is sad for the other side, good for this side. Alright. Let's go back to down dog. And we are going to open up our hips. Imagining we are going to work on our hips a little today. I want to go to wild things. I'm going to switch side. Come back to center. Left leg up, open your hips on left side, and then wild things. That's nice. Sorry about the scratching noise, I know it's annoying. Down dog, 
Right leg up. Right leg forward. Let's come to high lunge. Lunge twist. To prayer twist. To bind. Look back. See that if you can place your heel directly on top of your toe. Have that right alignment. Face forward. Pick that imaginary big beach ball up. Lift your core. Lift with your core. Warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Side angle. Triangle. Um, we are going to come to plank, to down dog, left leg up, left leg forward, high lunge, lunge twist, lunge prayer twist, Pick up that beach ball. Warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Side angle. Triangle. Come down. Plank. Knees. Chest. Chin. Up dog. Down dog. Right leg up, right leg forward, we are going to do something fun today, this is wearing laser lunge, I don't know if you can see my uh, leg, it's outside of my hands, and let's try to see if we can make it an aeroplane, get both hands, um, this side I don't have enough free space, so I'm going to bind but if you don't want to bind, just have your arms spread out. Nice. We're going to try to get to Ekapata Kundanyasana. If you don't want to try arm balance, uh, you can stay in lizard lunge and move your hips back and forth. Otherwise, you can try Ekapata Kundanyasana with me. What you do, you put your arms under your thigh and then you lift your body weight with your arms. I think Ekapata Kundaniyasana is, uh, I've mentioned before, it's easier among the arm balances. I'm changing side. Left leg up, left leg forward, um, from here we are going to be in lizard lunge, we'll do the same thing that we did, fly the airplane, you can also bind, and then um, you can either participate in Ekapada Kundaniyasana if you don't want to do. Just massage your hips by moving back and forth. Uh, have your knees up. Otherwise, try joining me in Ekapada. You can see my arm is aligned to carry the weight of my thigh. The other side, I'm going to carry the weight of my side body. And that. I'm going to start with a pose that I didn't get to yesterday. I think the video didn't tape, so you don't have the proof. But you know, I know it in my heart. So, which the pose was trying to go up against the wall with a donkey kick. 
So we are just going to try to press it, okay? my worry. Alright, we're back to dog dog. It's coming on our back. We're gonna try to wake up our hips a little bit. What of my worry while you're doing these videos is you know if I go down I would have a proof of how I went down. Even if I don't post it it's pretty scary to think about it. I have to be very safe. Not look stupid. Alright. I guess, you know, you can push your edge. Uh, what are we trying to do? We are going to squeeze that block, engage our outer thighs and hips. Squeeze it really hard. Nice. We're going to try the donkey kick one more time, and then we're going to go to dolphin. Today is not the best day, looks like. But let's go to Dolphin. Press your palms, get out of your shoulder, look forward, squeeze your belly, and lift. One more time. This pose, I think, is improving because one practice makes everybody perfect. Two, there is a subtle balance that you can enforce by squeezing your palms together. Let's come to chest pose. If you don't want to try inversion, come to puppy pose. You can always just stay right before the inversion. Let's thread our needle. Come back to center. Left side up. Let's do cat cow, breathe in cat, breathe out cow, cat, cow, one more time, come to down dog. Plank, right leg, right arm. Take a couple of breaths. Go back. Left leg, left arm. Go back. Right leg, right arm. Right leg to nose, right leg to left arm. Go back. Left leg, left arm. Left leg to nose, left leg, right arm. Go back. Down dog. From here, we're gonna hop to come to Malasana. Today, your homework is think about it, what makes you the happiest, and make it a point to do it maybe tomorrow if possible, 
Or maybe this week. I have one for myself as well. I think I know what makes me happy, so I'll try to do that. I think painting makes me happy. So yeah, we are opening up our sides if possible. Opening the other side. So my homework is to try to finish a painting that I've started. If I do finish it, I'll show it in the beginning of one of the class. It's a really big painting. It's like two by three foot white color. Which is taking me forever. All right, we are gonna try to come to Kropos. Um, again, you don't need to come to Kropos. We can just stay here and rock and roll. Lift your hips up as much as you can, all right? And rest your knees on your underarm. Let's see if you can lift up. Uh, one of the complaints I've heard from people for this pose is that when they rest their knees on their upper arm, it bruises. Damn, there's some color here. Uh, yeah, so it, it bruises the back of their arms. So if you want to avoid the bruising, underarm won't bruise for sure. So that is one of the reasons why I prefer putting my knees on my underarm and then lift. Nice. It was a little late last time. So this time I want to practice with all of you. Firefly. I'm sure what I mean. This color is really bothering me now. It's just the floor, it's on my finger. Anyway, so I'll give you the option if you don't want to try Firefly, you can stop uh, before getting to Firefly. But if you want to try Firefly, do what I'm doing, which is holding a figure four. What is figure four? You see, I'm holding a figure four, right? This is the top of the four. Then I'm bending my knee. I'll bring it through. And if you do this, this is also a good hip stretch, and you can just stop here. If you want to try firefly with me, what you do, uh, you bring your body or torso in a twisted form facing the side. So if you are holding the four with your right leg, you're going to look on your left side. And then you're going to try to put the feet which I'm wiggling on your upper arm and the hip on the other upper arm and then get a lift right so that's called firefly unfortunately we have both sides and you know if you didn't like doing the firefly no worries we will just stay here this is a good pose to be in um, you can even add some motion, open and close, and just stay here. But you know, we want to learn new exciting poses, or at least see the options. So you know, it uh, keeps you coming. Otherwise, you'd be like, I already know whatever she has to teach. Why am I even coming, right? So yeah, we will keep it fun for you, I promise. So there are new poses that I, I try to learn myself, and also teach you guys in the process. So what was it? So we are gonna hold a figure four, come closer, and then angle our body, uh, and then come to, okay, this is a little hard. Of course, I'm not gonna give up, I'll at least try. Just trying to feel my body, you know, you have to know your body. If something hurts, that's not good. I'm just trying to figure out if this thing is going to be hard for me. This side was slightly harder, but uh, it worked out. So yeah, that's Firefly. We did some arm balances today with the hope of working our arm. This actually have been requested to show how to do push-ups. So we're gonna do that a little bit. Bring yourself to plank. And you know, if you want to try push-up, 
First, let's do knee push-up. So for knee push-up, if you notice my body, my top part, which is from knee to my shoulder, is like a log. It's a straight line. So form a straight line and think about your arms as like the hinge where your body is hinging on. And you're like a piece of log. So you don't, you don't know how to bend. You have to keep a straight line from your knees to your head. And then we can do push-ups. So do the knee push-ups and start from here. Once you can do knee push-ups, let's try to do five times. And then from knee push-up, if you want to graduate, bring yourself to plank. Just bring yourself down. Don't worry about lifting. Then lift up, right? Let's do it one more time. Go down slowly. And lift up. So the way I learned push-up is actually trying to do a lot of chaturanga. So down dog. Chaturanga, up dog. You see, I don't immediately come up or I don't need to come up for some uh, chaturanga. We go to up dog and then down dog. So maybe this is another way that you can habituate your body to gain some upper body strength, all right? All right, let's come to standing. So we're in standing. Let's come to tree. So yeah, I had some fraudulent activity on one of my online account. That's why I'm stressed. I know, first of all, problem. But you know, identity theft can be a big pain. All right. Other side. Open your legs. Puff up, your, puff up your chest and then leading with your chest forward fold. Today I still, even though I'm a little stressed about the online hacking scenario, I feel good mostly because um, I hurt my ankle a little bit. I don't even know how. Well, I know how. I think it was running. So I stopped running for a few days. I think I did like three days straight. All right, keeping one hand in the middle and open up this side. Um, and then I stopped for my ankle to heal. And it did open the other side. So that's why I'm a little happy. Hopefully the pain doesn't come back. All right, let's come to side plank, uh, side lunge. We are going to go to side plank. In case you're wondering, side lunge on the other side. We are going to go to Vasistrasana. Continue however. What is it? What happened? Is I don't eat unhealthy food, but I tend to eat a lot. Um, I think my only saving grace is I eat a lot of vegetables. Like I said, nowadays I'm obsessed with butternut squash. And no matter how much I eat, you know, it's still a little bit of calorie. But man, I, I, I do love eating. The whole day I think about what else can I eat. I know it's not. I think because, you know, during holiday season, we are so bored. Uh, I mean, there's family, but if you're obsessed with food because there is so much food. All right, come to down dog. Um, we are going to go to a handstand, actually. So we are not going to do too much of a activity before that right leg up. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. to high lunge. From high lunge, we are going to go to standing split. And then 
Add a couple of hops. Do something from here, yes. And we're going to dancer, so I'm gonna go back to high lunge from high lunge. We're gonna come to warrior three. From warrior three, we're gonna come to dancer. to plank, down down, left leg up, left leg forward, so I'm gonna combine the poses so we don't need to do two rounds like we did before, so come to high lunge, from high lunge come to warrior three, from warrior three we're gonna come to dancer, Dancer to standing split and then a couple of hops. Alright. Down dog. Look in between your hands. And shoot your legs too. Which brings us to start pose. Hook your big toes if you can, and then first one. We're gonna come to inverse tabletop. Extend the tabletop. Come down. Let's go to Mayura. And if Mayura is not in your practice, no sweat. Invert your arms and stay here. That's a good pose to be at. Otherwise, you can join me at Mayura. If you're period, if you're pregnant, please don't do it. Otherwise, dig on your belly and lift up. Great. That was good. I am hoping that I could hold it for longer. But that's all for today for my aura. Let's come to some twists and turns. So we are in a spinal twist. If you don't know the Sanskrit name of the pose, but what's in a name they say? Center, switch your leg, twist, come to center. Let's come to half heroes, half lotus. If you can, if this end, then look there. Come up to the center. Let's 
check it off the loop site. We're gonna go to go to back and do bridge pose. Lift your bridge. Lift your legs if you want. Let's come to a full will if that's in your practice. Come down. Let's do figure four and then Press our shin. Come down. Other side. Come to shoulder stand. Balasan. Come down gently and immediately go to fish pose. One of my instructors who I really miss is Lily. She's a civil engineer. She has such a great energy. And I mean it not in a very like shy way. She would do all the poses in the class. Most teachers actually don't do it because they have to teach so many classes sometimes. So, you know, you can't do, all right, let's come to supine twist. You can't do three classes and do all the poses, but she'd be so dedicated to doing all the poses. And she was the one who told me when I struggled with inversion, whenever you see a wall, go at it. Like, just be upside down. And that was such a motivating thing that you know, she said. And I followed you to the T. Let's come to Sabasan. Literally, whenever I saw a wall and I felt like I'm in a right atmosphere, I just try to go upside down. For me, inversion was it, meaning that I, I it was hard for me to do. So find out. What is that that's staring at your face and daunting at you? You probably want to conquer it slowly but surely. Right, let's come to your side. And that's just not about yoga, it's about life. If something is bothering you, you know you can do it. Go for it. Come on, there's a winner. It might not be today, let's come to a comfortable seated position. It might not be tomorrow. Maybe a year or two later, but you know, you know that you have it in you to win that. All right, let's close our practice with a round of home breathing. Oh. Happy holidays, everybody. See you guys tomorrow.